I'm going to show you that Romans chapter 13 verse 1 to 7 makes a big contradiction for the post-trip rapture heresy. I'm going to show you this. Romans chapter 13 verse 1 to 7. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no higher power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever resisteth the power resisteth, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive, receive to themselves damnation. For the rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must needs to subject not only for wrath, but for consciousness sake, and for this cause pay ye tribu tribute also, for they, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all your due, to all, sorry, to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear for to whom fear, honor to whom honor. How does this prove a pre-trib rapture? I'll explain how. Because Romans chapter 13 verse 2 is a direct contradiction or yeah, a direct contradiction of Revelation 14, 9 through 11, because the Antichrist is going to force people to take the mark of the beast. So you're going to have, if you're going, if, you, if Christians go into the time of Jacob's trouble, they're going to have to disobey the government and refuse to take the mark of the beast. So they're going to have, obviously they're going to have to disobey the government, but what does the Bible say? The governments are ordained by God. You're supposed to obey the governments according to Romans chapter 13, verse 1 to 7. You're commanded to. And if you don't, you're getting damnation, not in the sense of losing your salvation, but you get in trouble with God. But how does this work if you go into the time of Jacob's trouble? Because you're going to have to be disobeying the government, you're going to have to be refusing the mark of the beast. But it would contradict earlier scriptures in Romans chapter 13. So a Christian cannot go into the time of Jacob's trouble because it would cause a contradiction in the word of God. Because Romans 13 says we're supposed to obey the government, but Revelation 14, 9 through 11 proves we'd have to disobey the government in the time of Jacob's trouble. It's a very, very big contradiction there. And not only that, what was it, verse, uh, was it verse number, verse number seven says honor, we're supposed to honor the governments. So wait a second, we're supposed to honor the Antichrist if we go into the time of Jacob's trouble? Because according to that verse, that's what it's saying. We should honor the Antichrist then, apparently. It's a big contradiction for post-tribbers. So don't be deceived by this post-trib satanic heresy. It is satanic. Okay? It is very, very satanic because it makes God into a liar. If Christians go into this time period, Romans 13, verse 1 to 7 would be would uh, become a lie. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.